And we are in the Simi Valley, California. I find my friend Adam to hike with him a little bit up uh, in Corriganville Park, the, the interpretive trail. It is what you want it to be. Up here in the rocks of Simi Valley, they shot a lot of westerns up here. A lot of Lone Rangers. A lot, I've actually shot up here a couple times. There's a hawk up there. You, you can't see a hawk, but there are hawks and stuff. I found Adam. He's right here, but this is the western town. This, what was this? This was the barn? This was oh, one. This was the newer of the two old barns. Because you know all the stuff. Adam knows the stuff. I just know that a lot of stuff was shot here. Gorilla Rock. Actually, we got it looking like a gorilla. Adam told me Fort Apache was shot here, and I did not know that. Adam knows more than I do about the stuff that was shot. But Fort Apache, for so John Ford movie. John Wayne. Peter Fonda. Peter Fonda, yeah. Everybody's in there. Fort Apache was great, boy. They had this little, uh, in New Jersey, down near Wildwood, southern New Jersey, they had a little, um, a, a little theme park, tiny, called Fort Apache, with like, you know, fake Indians and rides and everything. Was it based on the movie? It was, no, it was just kind of based on an, in cowboys and Indians kind of theme. But man, when I got to go to Fort Apache, you know, you're five years old or six years old, Indians would be there, and you just basically want to, you know, get ice cream, but man, that was great. Trailblazer Cave. I'll just go up there. I'll go up there. <coughs> Billy the Kid versus Dracula, right? Hoot Gibson, Bob Steele, Ken Maynard, all the cowboys came out of this cave. But it's not really a cave. It's just a split in the rock that they built up. They built up with like pl sort of plaster wood over here, made it a mine. And uh, then you'd come out of the cave. I got to... <laughs> I'm not going to shoot a lot coming down from the cave because I'm not going to kill myself. Are you coming down now? I'm going to come down. Be careful, it's very, very tricky. In your footing. The staircase can be treacherous. Name that movie. Young Frankenstein. Oh, he's too good. <laughs> that is Johnny Weissmuller Rock when Tarzan used to jump into this lake. Note. It's actually Jungle Jim. It what? was post the Tarzan years. Tarzan ended, and then he put on the hat. He put on the, the hat and the, the shirt, and he was Jungle Jim. Look, Tarzan. If I say Tarzan Tar on a video, okay. it's Tarzan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's his Jungle Jim, because Adam knows everything. <laughs> he was Jungle Jim. And like all Jungle Jims, at the end of shooting, kids would come play on him. He'd hold his arms out, and they'd swing a Jungle Jim. <laughs> I, get, I get the reference. I'm just trying, That's Adam. Hilarious. I'm trying. Is that so wrong? That's hilarious. For entertainment. It's funny. So this was full of water, and they built this concrete bunker with windows for underwater sequences. I watched an episode where he was right here in front of where they had the camera pointing out, and he stabbed a crocodile. In this copse of trees, yes, I used the word copse, um, many a singing cowboy has ridden a horse through here and, uh, and sang his song. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. It's actually right there. It's on the other side of that. The other side of that big hump? Yeah, so we just did a loop. We go this way, we'll loop back. It's on the back side of this rock. It's like over that. Okay. If you're wrong, I'm, I'm killing and eating you, Adam. I'm not going to... No. Gonna be wrong. No, we're not going to do that thing. Hey, buddy, we did our best. Hey, way to go, Adam. You showed me old Holly... No, I'm killing and eating you. And then I'm are hiking that, back hungry? to civilization. Huh? Are you hungry? I'm not that hungry now. I'm not... Later. No, I don't mean, you know, like I'm not using you as an appetizer or whatever. Okay. You so are... We got, you were an entree, buddy. We got... Yeah, you're, an, you're an entree. Definitely. So, but I'm just telling you. We could survive out here for when years. When I feel... I think I have a power bar in the bag. Go with uh, that. Let's say we're wrong over there. Okay. Have the power bar. And then... Who knows? Just toss up. I never get the lizards as they scurry across. They're always like, 
across. We have walked a long way on a very, very hot day, but there's the foundation right there of Fort Apache. Right there. Adam's taking the freeway, that 118 freeway, and I'm racing him to the munch box. I often ride my bike down this road. I ride up the old Santa Susana Pass Road, and then I ride down uh, using my brakes quite a bit. I think I'm in the car. In the car, I'm using my brakes almost more than I do on the bike. It's uh, it's steepy curvy, even in the car. You beat me. How long have you been here? I jumped on the freeway. I know. I took the stagecoach road. I, know, I saw you. I wanted to race you. Two minutes. Two minutes. Ah. Just catch him. Just catch him, please. Yeah, I got catch. I was telling him that he goes to only the coolest places. Sure. However you would make it, you make it. You do your thing. All right. If you want to do it, do it. If you think, go go for it. Oh really? We'll do it. Do it. Yeah, however you would have lunch, just make it happen for me and I'll just pay for it. Okay. Have you ever watched the Jewel Hauser episode on this place? Absolutely, I was here. Oh, you were You're here back then? Wow. The Munch Box, thumbs up. I'm... No response at all. I'm at my son's baseball game. He's playing for the St. Lucie Mets versus the uh, Florida Fire Frogs. But when he's pitching, I can say very little because my tongue is three times its normal size and I'm about to swallow it. So um, I'll, I'll try to tape something, but I'm pretty uh, <laughs> mean no have words. Everybody, for it's one, two, three. Oh, the old Yeah, buddy. First pro strikeout I ever saw him pitch. Congratulations, Tommy. That's right. Yeah, buddy. My grandfather grew up in the coal mines of Pennsylvania in the shadows of the oldest brewery in the United States. Two generations later, here I am in Florida watching my son pitch in pro baseball. Center field number nine. Garrison Schwartz. Go America. Good luck, Garrison Schwartz. <laughs> if that's your real name. That's right, Garrison. That's right, Garrison Schwartz. Good afternoon, Mr. Schwartz. Yayoi Kusama. Thank you. I think we should make one at the house. Honey, we need a new piece for the Christmas lights. That's pretty cool. This? Let me tell you all something. I'm incredibly happy and touched that you'll be showing my Infinity Mirrors exhibition. Hey, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your postcards. When I first invited postcards to come in, I got two postcards about 
once every two years, so that would be once once a year. I'm getting more now. Beck Lane, what a talented painter. Hello, Beck. BeckLaneArtist.com. The draftsmanship, the inspiration, really tremendous, tremendous work that I suggest you look up. Thrifty Mint. Check this out. I went in one of these to uh, Expo 72. Thrifty Mint also gave me a button. Sorry. Did it focus on that? It says, go make something. Thank you. Thanks, Thrifty. Redondo Beach Pier. Hello, April. Redondo Beach Pier with to Tony's is a restaurant right there. It's got one of the, you know, it's one of those seafood restaurants with the blowfish. They actually, I guess, empty out the fish, blow it up, and then put a light bulb in it. The fish is sitting, you know, what a grizzly. I never thought this would be my life. Jeff, Westy Martin in the Rockies. Thank you very much, Jeff. Clint Culp, huh? The sunset with a sailboat, Corpus Christi, Texas. Clint's hometown. Look Clint up on YouTube. Clint Culp, C-U-L-P. Philadelphia, Brian. Thanks, Brian. You know what? This is Chestnut Street. This view right here, I think that what? The white one? The, the white one right there? It's my dad's office right there. He's still working. Relax more, Dad. Take a break. Go home. Come. No, he works. He likes to work. Hey, Father Vince. Father Vince first sent me a letter. Then he sent me a lot of postcards. We've got a uh, uh, Choo Choo Barn, a uh, Whoopie Pie recipe. Oh, and of course the festive Three Mile Island. Uh, every one of the cards. Did you read my letter? Are you gonna answer my letter? Did you read my letter? I sent you a letter. Uh, Father Vince, your letter had ideas about creative things, uh, story ideas. I do not read those. No professional writer or artist will read those. Why? Legal liability. Uh, you send me an idea. I do something uh, that's not related to that, but you sue me and say, hey, you stole my idea. I sent you this letter. I do not read them, nor does any writer. Uh, they have to come through proper channels. That's why the proper channels exist. Agents, manage all that sort of thing <clears throat> so that they're properly uh, properly vetted by all the right people. So yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's maddening. Yes, it's crazy. That's the way it is. Um, God bless America.